I like to create compositings like this one, which I made just for fun. So you see, it's a mutiny on a bounty and it contains many elements. And the masking of so many elements can be quite tedious. And I want to show you how the Dogma Freistellen panel can help you to select and mask those elements with just one click. So this video is all about this function here, the one click background removal. And that is actually a function in Photoshop that is already built in, but it's not quite discoverable. So you have to use the select menu for one layer, then choose select subject. Then you have to go into the layers panel and click on mask. So that's a long process. There's also a function hidden because you see we have a background layer. And if I then go into the properties panel and scroll down, you, you have some quick actions. But you see, there's nothing about masking here. So first you have to go back to the layers panel, unlock the background layer. And if you now go into the properties panel, you see this button here, remove background. And that's basically the same as the one click background removal. But as you see, it only works not on a background layer and it doesn't work for multiple layers at once. And this one click background removal does this trick. And I want to show you that. So if I have this image here, for example, and I want to mask those two guys, I just click on one click background removal and they are masked. The mask is not perfect. If you zoom in and check that it's here and there, you have to fix it with a brush. Just go into the mask and enhance it, refine it. And that's no deal breaker, but it's a starting point. So for quick, compositions this is perfect you can mask many elements at once and not only on one layer but on multiple layers and let me show you that also i close this window and switch to bridge and here in bridge you can select multiple images by holding down shift and clicking on the first and the last image and then you go to tools photoshop and load files into photoshop layers and what Photoshop now does is yeah, to load those files as layers in a single file. And that's it already. If I check the layers panel, you see all those photos together. And now comes the little trick of the Dogma Freistellen panel. You just have to select all layers by holding down shift, clicking the first and the last, or by using the shortcut command option A or control option a on the pc and then you go into the panel and click on one click background removal and wait for a short moment and that's it so there we are and now you can just arrange all the elements try different positions different compositions and that is really cool because you can now check if it works how you have it planned. Maybe these two guys in the background, let's scale them a little bit by using free transform, using this guy here, the sneaky guy, and position him behind the other one. And I think in the future, we will add the functionality to convert these layers automatically into smart objects. So you don't have to worry about image quality when transforming the single layers. But at the moment, these are just regular pixel layers. But I would recommend to always first check the composition, check if you need a layer or not. Maybe you don't need the jumping kit, then just hide the layer. But you see how fast the process is. And you can select all these layers by holding down command or control and then moving it in the image to the final composition. And you see my final composition was this one and I used the same process. I didn't use all the images you see here, just some like the cannon, like uh, those two guys, the sneaky guy and the saber guy and the main guy here, the steering wheel. And yeah, I use the panel to do all that in a matter of seconds. And then after the composition was finished, I went into detail and refined all masks here for the different subjects. 
because the one click background removal is only the first step in masking and compositing. Have fun with that button.